Hey, what's up, YouTube? And anyone watching there? Alright, guys. Today I'm gonna show you a very cool program called Mediafire Account Creation Bot. It's basically a bot. So I'll go ahead and create a new project called this Mediafire Account Creation Bot and click on OK. In the form, um, I'm gonna add a list view, which will show our username and password. and I'm gonna add two group boxes just to make things nice and tidy and I'm gonna add two buttons which will be our start and stop button for the bot now this bot is basically different from the other bots that you may have seen you may have seen bots for sending thousands of email to a certain person or you may have seen the bot for SMS bombers and stuff like that but this one is different it's for registration for making thousands of accounts or, or as many as you want so I'm gonna quickly reset my form here make everything look good so once you're done now the button 2 is our start button and the button 1 is our stop button the two group boxes will be our first one group box 1 will store the number of items in the list view and the group box 2 will be our controls so I'll call the button button start for BTN start and the button 1 will be BTN stop which will be our stop button and the group box 2 controls group box 1 will be storing the accounts the number of accounts and the list view will have our username and password columns so you can do that by going to edit columns or you can go to properties and look for columns and click on collections then go ahead and add a column this will be our username change the text to username then add another column for our password I'm gonna change the width to 150 for both and click on OK once you're done now to populate the columns it may not show before just right click on the side thing and go to view and go to details now you can see your username and password columns you can resize them if you want and when everything is done right click on your form and go to view code now up the top here in, we're gonna import three general declarations first one will be system.threading second one will be system.net and the third one will be system.io now under form 1 we're gonna declare t as new thread which will address off to start port which will be a sub which we'll make later then we declare another boolean variable just to check whether our board is running or not so we set that default to false delegate sub add list view item in the brackets by well username as string comma password as string dim hook lvi as new add list view item address of alvi now the now we left the address of blank for now because we haven't made the sub for it yet so we make the sub now sub a l v i stands for add list view item by well username as password as string by well password as string so it has two parameters password and username now this sub is basically for adding um, items to the list view one so we check if the invoke is required invoke 
new add list view item address of alvi comma username comma password else dim lvi as new list view item the brackets username lvi dot sub items dot add password list view one dot items dot add lvi this was simple so we can go up and change the address of to alvi now and now we make a sub for our start board sub start board do loop and the try cat statement just in case we run into any errors dim username as string generate string now the generate string is a function that we will make after this uh, sub it, it basically generates random username and password so and gmail.com then password as string once again we do generate string and 700 then we check if new web client dot download string and then you need to copy and paste this URL from the description below https www.mediafire.com forward slash api forward slash user forward slash register dot php question mark application dot application underscore id equals thousand and email equals and then close the quotations and username and quotations and password equals and password and version one and dot contains now we check if it contains the word success if that means that the, everything was successful we made a new account and it will add that to the list view so alvi username comma password now we change the group box one dot text to count the number of items in the list view close the brackets and then we create generate uh, we create a function for our generate string length as integer content as integer and casing as integer it has three parameters three of them are integer data types and the, it will return as string now we create three random r r1 r2 as new random then we declare g string as string we'll set that to nothing for now string dot empty then we declare uh, a string which will be lowercase alphabet we call that low alf which will ha store all the lowercase alphabet then we can go ahead and create uh, uppercase alphabet as string which will use low alf dot two upper then we declare add letter as char 
Now we make a do loop, do until g string dot length equals length. Select case, casing k0. Select case r dot next. Now the random dot next basically returns only the positive numbers. So it will return the random number between 0 and 2. K0 add letter equals low alpha dot substring. So it gets the random alphabets in lowercase first. And then we'll make the case 1 for our uppercase. Sorry, it should be R1 up there. Case 1. Add letter equals up alf dot substring r1 dot next zero twenty five and one make case one we just copy and paste from a case one before and the case two becomes the case zero. Select case, content, k0, select case, r.next, now this time we add everything to the g string. Now this one gets the random numbers from between 0 and 9. We copy and paste once again. Now we can just go ahead and return the G string. Okay, let's check if you got everything. Yep, looks like we got everything. Okay, let's go back to our form one design and code for our start button. Now, the start button we changed the first we changed the group box one dot text to count the number of items in the list view. Then we check if the started is equal to false. If yes, then we start the bot thread. And then we set the started to true because the bot is running now. Else, we resume the bot. Then go back to your form one design and let's code for the stop button which is very simple t dot suspend now we can go ahead and test our program click on start and we got an error hmm. okay let's see what the error is Okay, I found the error. We are missing at symbol before gmail.com. I think this will fix the error. Don't worry about the two warnings that you get for suspend and resume. It won't make any difference to your program. Click on start once again. And voila, it's working. 
So basically you can go ahead and create hundreds of different accounts but I don't see any point in making these many so I'll go ahead and click on stop and close the program. Now I'm going to show you how you can save all the accounts from the list view to your text file and also how to clear up the list box uh, list view sorry. So I'll go ahead and add a context menu strip to my form. I'll add two items. The first one will be save all accounts. And the second one will be clear all accounts. Now first we'll code for our clear all account because it's easy. Let's view one dot items dot clear. Go back to our form one design and let's code for our save all accounts. First we declare a save file dialog. Then we put two uh, we change two things, the filter and the file name. So that we'll set the filter to text files and all files. and we'll set the file name to nothing. Now we go dim result as dialog result sfd.show dialog. Now we check if the dialog result was okay only. Sorry, okay. If yes, then using SW as new stream writer, SFD dot file name, comma true. Now the true is for appending to the already created text file. If you choose false, it will clear uh, clean everything in your file and then start all over again. For each item as list view one, list view item in list view one dot items sw.writeline item.text and colon and item.subitems in the brackets one.text this will store our username and the password to the text file okay once you've done that go back to your form and let's test the program Oh, first we need to add our context menu strip to our list we want so that when once the user want to right click on it they can see that the context menu strip once again click on start and let's generate some username and password if you go to the mediafire website you can test these username and password click on stop and right click and go save all accounts you can save it to wherever you want. I'm going to save it to dex desktop. I'll call this Mediafire account. And click on save. Now if you go to a desktop, here's our Mediafire account's text file. And it has username and password stored in it. So let's get back to our program. Sorry, I forgot to test uh, the clear all items. We start once again. I'm going to add two items. Click on stop, right click, and go clear all accounts. And it works. So, thanks guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video.